And so we will start just a moment to acknowledge wherever we are today, whatever we're feeling in the body, in the sensation that arises. It's creating a space for any emotion that might be there in the heart. With the sense of openness, of curiosity, observing that's where we are right now. No need to change or control. It's perfect as it is. So we deepen into the awareness. We might notice some areas of tightness or tension in the body, and we can bring this sense of releasing, softening. Wherever there's more extra tension. And feel free to close the mouth. Yes, keeping the breath in and out through the nose. Just connecting to our guidance with the breath, to your own rhythm. With this openness, tuning into your intention for this practice, and it might be whatever you wish you have for yourself or others. You might want to dedicate the practice to someone, just whatever resonates with you in, in this moment. In your own time, we're gonna bow the head forwards and the chin to the chest. We press the hands on the knees. We're going to lift the chest and gaze to the sky. On the exhale, we round the spine, take the gaze down. We're going to go twice more just to warm up. Press the hands on the knees, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. We go once more. Inhale, chest open, look up. Exhale, round, tag the tailbone forward. The next inhale, we go to neutral spine. We can open the eyes if we haven't yet. We're gonna sweep the arms up. So we root through the hips down. We're gonna interlace the fingers, release the index finger up. If available, we're gonna lengthen the arms, soften the shoulders. We start tilting the upper body to your right. So we press more with the left hip on the mat. And using our core, we rise all the way up. We're going to tilt to the left. We keep reaching through the fingertips, right hip down. We're going to rise all the way up. We're going to free the arms nice and long, reach through the fingertips. Send them behind the back and pressing through the hands, lift the chest and gaze. Option one, stay here. If you wish a deeper stretch, we're going to engage the glutes, lift the hips, tuck the tailbone down. And we send the hips on the mat. Use the core to look forward. We're going to forward fold. We can walk the fingertips towards the front of your mat and just a moment to soften the shoulders, the neck. You can move gently from side to side with ease. And we roll the spine all the way up. We're going to send the hands behind the back once more. And from here, we're going to bring the feet hips distant apart. We're going to press through the toes on the inhale. We bring the shoulders on top of the hips, arms to the sky. On the exhale, we round and we bring the palms facing up. We're going to go three more times using the core on the inhale, lengthen maybe a bit forward. On the exhale, round the spine, vertebra by vertebra. We go twice more on the inhale, using the whole body, leap through the fingertips. Exhale, round the spine, lower back on the mat. One last time, nice. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round the spine. 
on the next inhale we rise and this time we're gonna send the hands behind the back we're gonna hug the right knee to the chest flex the right foot and we open the right hip into our pigeon pose we have the option to stay here more than perfect option to send even closer the shin towards the chest feel the ease in it we're gonna press through the left heel down lengthen the arms we're gonna Tap the tailbone forward, lift the hips off the floor into one leg. Reverse tabletop. We feel the glutes, the left hamstring engage. We take one more breath and we send the hips down. We're going to release the legs. We can move them from side to side. We're going to send the knees together this time and similarly we're going to bring the knees towards the chest as we keep lengthening the spine. We want to run but see if we can keep it nice and long. We have the option to stay here more than perfect. We can grab the back of the thighs for this feeling, free the arms or we can send the arms next to the ears. Feel free to close the eyes. So we open even more to the sensations in the body as shaking in. Nice, easy neck. We take one more breath. We open the eyes wide. We're going to cross the legs the opposite way as before. So just the way less familiar. Don't worry too much. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the head. Then the inhale, open the chest. On the exhale, round through the elbows. In we go twice more. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round the spine, just exploring the space. We go one last time. Inhale, chest open. Exhale, round the spine, squeeze navel in. On the next inhale, we go to neutral spine, sweep the arms to the sky. Right, so we interlace the fingers, release index finger up, and we start tilting to the left this time. Press through the right hip down. On the inhale, using the core, we rise and we tilt to the right, maybe deeper, just floating the body. On the inhale, we rise. We free the arms, send the fingertips behind the back. We're going to press down through the hands, lift the chest, option one, option two, again, tight tailbone forward, hips off the mat. And we release the hips down, look forward, and we're just gonna soften the upper body towards the floor. We can walk the fingertips again to the front of the mat. We can swim from side to side. We take one more breath. And we roll the spine all the way up. We're gonna bring once more the feet, hips this time apart. And rooting through the ten toes down onto the floor, we bring again arms next to the ears. This time we're gonna round the spine and we're gonna stay here. Option one, option two, you might want to look, go lower. Always keep that roundness on the lower back, the chest wide and open. We're gonna open the right arm towards the back, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, right arm forward. We open with the left, reaching away and forward. And we're going to continue this movement and the slower the better is this feeling of moving the air, almost if we're moving in water, we bring right and forward. So feeling the whole body at once, we open with the left. And forward, keep the navel into the spine. We go one more round. And forward, and we open with the opposite side. And forward from here, using our body, we rise up. And we lean the hands behind the back. We're going to hug the left knee to the chest, flex the left foot into our pigeon pose. Option again to stay or to lengthen the arms, press through the right heel, engage the tailbone forward, lifting the front body to the sky. We take two more breaths, pressing down through the ten fingers. 
and we release the hips all the way down towards the mat. We're going to release the legs again. We can move them from side to side. Let's do add more space. We're going to go once more into our Navasana pose. We're going to hug the knees towards the chest. And this time, we're going to keep the hands down onto the mat for a moment. On the next inhale, we lengthen the legs forward, lean the torso back. So just we hover the heart and the feet off the ground. On the exhale, squeeze everything in. We're going to continue this movement. Nice length. Exhale in. See if we can keep knees again. Inhale in. Exhale in. We go twice more. Feel free to release the arms. Exhale, squeeze in one last time, pushing the air away. Exhale in. We're going to bring both feet down onto the floor, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the tailbone forward, river stable top. We can release the head back. We take two more breaths. Let's engage. We take one more breath. And we release hips on the floor, look forward. We find our all fours on the mat. So just a moment to arrive, we're gonna keep the fingers wide spread. And just to feel the earth underneath and the whole of the hands on the floor, we're gonna shift the weight of the body forward slightly. And we reach the weight back. We're gonna go twice more, keeping the whole of the hands on the mat. Exhale back. We go one last time, wait for Exhale back. We're going to meet in our all four, so we keep the shoulders just on top of the wrist, maybe even a little bit further forward. We're going to arch the spine on the inhale. On the exhale, round, release the head. We go twice more on the inhale, arch. Exhale, round again, just floating the movement. We go one last time, inhale, open. Exhale, round the spine. The next inhale, we go to neutral spine, and again, if it's again on the wrist, shoulders, past the wrist. We're going to tap the toes under into our plank pose. And on the exhale, we're going to only move the knees. We're going to bend the knees. Maybe they touch the floor. On the inhale, lengthen the legs. We go three more times. Bend the knees only. Lengthen the legs. Keep pushing through the hands. Extend. We go one last time. And extend. We're going to rest the knees down. We untag the toes, send the tailbone to the heels into child's pose. And we're going to roll the spine all the way up. We bring the hips on top of the knees. We're going to sweep the arms to the sky. And again, keeping that tailbone down and forward, we're going to interlace the fingers in this finger up. And we tilt the upper body to the right as we did in our cross leg. On the inhale, using the core up, and we tilt the upper body to the left. On the inhale, up, we're gonna free the hands and we interlace them behind the head. Remember, you know this one, we're gonna take one line here. On the exhale, we lean the hips back. We're gonna go twice more on the inhale, using the body forward. On the exhale, nice, lean back. On your own rhythm, inhale forward. We're gonna lean back and hold it here for two deep breaths. Feel the length of the neck. We take one more breath. And using your body, we come back forward into our all fours. We spread the fingers wide on the mat. Engage the right glute. We pick up right toes to the sky. On the exhale, squeeze right thigh behind the left. On the inhale, right toes up. We're going to open the hip to the side and maybe the knee touches the right arm. We go twice more. Inhale up. Let's exhale, squeeze. 
We inhale, right toes to the sky. Exhale, up and to the side. We go once more, guys. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, up. And we open to the side. We're going to step right foot outside the right hand. And we have the option, no, you can, to walk that left knee a bit further back. So use the deeper opening on the hip flexor. And we're going to tap the left toes and then lengthening the left leg for a more active stretch. So we can even shift the weight back and forth. Again, to feel the whole body. And we're going to keep the weight slightly forward. So the left heel is on top of the left toes. Press through the feet. We're going to free the arms next to the ears, taking three deep breaths. So we keep reaching through the fingers. We keep reaching through the left heel back. We take one more breath. And we send hands on the mat, right leg back into our plank pose. On the exhale, as we did before, we're just going to bend the knees towards the floor. We go three more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, only the knees bend. We go twice more. Exhale. We go one last time. Keep pressing through the hands. Exhale, bend. We untap the toes, send the tailbone to the heels into child's pose, feeling the length of the sides of the body. And we roll the spine all the way up, sending the hips on top of the knees, tap the tailbone forward, sweep the arms up, interlace the fingers, index finger up, and we tilt the upper body to the left. On the inhale, using your core, we rise and we tilt to the right. We go once more, just moving the interlace fingers behind the head. Inhale, one long line. Exhale, we lean the hips back. We go twice more, inhale forward. Exhale, lean back, maybe a bit, maybe further. One last time, inhale. Engage the glutes, bring the hips back. We're going to take three deep breaths this time and feel free to close the eyes again. That helps us to connect with the whole body. We take two more breaths, chest open. One more breath. And we open the eyes, bring the body forward into our all fours. Just a moment to arrive. Pick up the left toes to the sky. Exhale, left thigh is squeezed behind the right evil legs. We inhale, left toes up. We open the hip to the side, maybe knee to the arm. We go twice more, press through the hands. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, open the hip. We go one last time, exploring the movement. We might go further in each round. We inhale, toes up. Exhale, leg to the side. And we step left foot outside the left hand. So again, a moment to right. You might want to walk that right knee back. We're going to go to a more active little pose. Extend the right leg and just shifting the weight back and forth. Feeling the feet on the ground, but also the hands, the weight on the fingertips. And we take one more. We're going to meet with the weight slightly forward. So right heel on top of the right toes, pressing through the feet, engaging the lower core. We can free the arms next to the ears. We take two more breaths. Using the whole body at once, and we send hands on the mat. This time we step back into downward dog, so we can paddle through the legs for a moment. Find the space, we're going to keep the head between the upper arms, shoulders rotate out. We're going to roll into plank on the inhale, see if we can keep the heels on top of the toes. On the exhale, downward facing up. We go twice more, inhale, roll into plank. Exhale, downward facing back. We go once more, inhale, into plank. 
exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna walk the hands towards the feet, towards the back of the mat. We meet for a moment in our forward fold to release, release the head. And from here, we're gonna bring the feet as wide as the mat. We're gonna rotate the toes and the knees slightly out for our malasana. We're gonna lower the hips. So we bring the chest forward. See if we can keep heels on the mat. We can bring the hands towards the heart. We're gonna take two more breaths and what we see here. And go high. And then the next inhale, press through the feet, sweep the arms up, we engage the glutes. Exhale, bend the knees, coming back into our malasana. We're gonna go three more times. So if we're moving in water, exhale, the hips low. We go twice more, expanding through the arms. Exhale, bend. We go one last time, inhale. Exhale, into our yogi squat, and we're gonna press the elbows on the inside of the knees, and we press the knees on the elbows. So it's this double action, which makes us feel the body even more the core. We're gonna take two more breaths. We keep pressing knees on the elbows, elbows on the legs and we release forward fold. We're gonna bring the feet to parallel, walking the hands into our plank pose. We take one deep breath, you may know this one. We're gonna send the knees down, chaturanga preparation. We bend elbows in maybe a little bit, maybe halfway. We're gonna push back into our knee plank. Exhale, send the tailbone to the heels. And we go twice more, working with the breath if you can. We're gonna bring shoulders past the wrists. Bend the elbows, maybe a bit, maybe halfway. We press through the fingertips. Nice, exhale, turn one back. We go one last time, inhale, shoulders past the wrists. We bend elbows halfway, and this time point the toes, open the chest, baby cobra. Exhale, nice, forehead down. We're gonna go baby cobra once more. Inhale, lift the heart, we can take the gaze down. Let's exhale, forehead and the mat. We're gonna open the arms wide into T-shape. From here, we bend the left knee. We're gonna open the left hip on top of the right. And as if we wanna touch with the left toes, the right hand, just exploring the openness that is here in the lower body. And we come back. We're gonna go on the opposite side again, just floating, bend the right knee, open the right hip, twist, breathe. And we release. From here, we're gonna send the hands underneath the forehead. And we're gonna bring the legs as wide as the mat. We're gonna bend both knees, flex the feet, and we send the heels to touch. From here, keeping the pubic bone on the floor, we're gonna squeeze the glutes and the heels as we lift the thighs off the floor. Exhale down. We're gonna go three more times. Inhale, lift, maybe a bit, maybe high. Exhale down. We go twice more, squeeze to lift. Exhale down, we go one last time, we're gonna hold up. We take five pulses, five, four, three, two, nice, one. We're gonna release, send the hands next to the hips for our upward dog, lift the chest off the mat, maybe lifting the hips, also maybe knees off the floor into downward facing dog. We're gonna paddle through the legs, move to the next side to side. And we walk the feet to the front of the mat, meeting in our forward fold. Just one moment to release. We roll the spine all the way up, vertebra by vertebra, keep the tailbone down and forward. So we meet in our standing pose. From here, feet hips distant apart. We sweep the arms up, interlace the fingers, index finger up. 
And as we did during the practice, we tune the upper body to the left. We inhale, use the core to rise. And we tilt to the left. We inhale, rise. We interlace the fingers behind the head. And again, keeping the hips forward, we lift the chest, gaze to the sky, elbows wide and open. So rather than back bend, it's a hard lift. We're gonna take one more breath. And using your core, we look forward, we bend the knees into our chair pose. So we'll be able to see the toes in front of the knees. From here, we shift the weight towards the left foot, pick up the right knee to the chest. And we touch with the right toes down. We're going to go twice more, same leg. Inhale up. Exhale down. We go one last time and we keep right foot off the floor. We're going to press through the left leg, rise up to a standing crown of the head to the sky. And we open the right hip into our standing pigeon, so I'll face you. We have the option to stay here in our balance more than perfect. For a deeper stretch to feel it in the IT band, we can bend that left knee. We're going to take two more breaths, feeling the size of the body lengthening. And we come back nice and up by the same way, full awareness. We're going to slide the right foot back into low lunge. We free the arms next to the ears. And we rest the right knee down, point the right toes. We go into our knee lunge, hands behind the head. We're going to bring right thigh forward, hard up. And on the exhale, we bring right hip on top of the right knee. We're going to tuck the chin to the chest and the tailbone forward. So we feel the stretch on the right thigh. We go twice more. On the inhale, right thigh to the mat, chest open. Exhale, we round chin to chest, tailbone forward. We go once more. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, tag everything. We're gonna free the arms. Send the hands towards the floor, the left leg steps back into downward dog. Through vinyasa, we flow with the rhythm of your breath. Is inhale to plank. Exhale for chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra open. Into downward facing dog, continuing the movement. We're gonna send left leg up, three leg dog, point the left toes. We're gonna squeeze the left knee to the left elbow. Three leg dog, power through the hands. Left knee to the right elbow. Three leg dog, inhale. Left knee to the nose. We go once more, three leg up. We step left foot to the front of the mat. We're gonna keep both feet up, send the gaze forward, and we shift the weight to the left leg and the fingertips. Pick up the right leg up, point the right toes to keep the body engaged. On the exhale, we bend both knees and we squeeze the right thigh behind the left. We go twice more on the inhale, lengthening away. Exhale, bend both knees, maybe a bit, maybe further. Squeeze one last time. Inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, bend both knees, squeeze. So we're going to step the right foot to the front of the mat as well, and we roll the spine all the way up. Vertebra by vertebra. Right, so standing, we sweep the arms up. We interlace the fingers, release index finger up, and we tilt the upper body to the left. Keep lengthening. On the inhale, use the core to rise, and we tilt to the right. On the inhale, rise, and again, we're going to support the back of the head, elbows open. Engage the glutes, hips forward, hand and raise to the sky. And we have the option to stay here. The feet press down, the heart rises. We have the option three to lift both heels off the floor. We take two more breaths. 
and we send the heels down using the core to look forward. We bend both knees into our chair pose. We're gonna pick up the left knee to the chest. Exhale, touch left toes down. We go twice more, inhale, balance. Exhale, down. We go once more, inhale. We're gonna extend the right leg to one leg, standing up from here, opening the left hip again. And we can open the left knee towards the back to align with the right option one. Option two, we can bend also the right knee for a deeper stretch. So we keep sending the hips back, the head forward. We take one more breath. We're gonna press through the right foot right and we slide left foot back into our low arrow pose, arms next to the ears. We rest the left knee using the hamstring, we support the back of the head, open the chest. On the exhale as we did before, we bring left hip on top of the left knee, tuck everything in. We go twice more, inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round, tuck everything in. So it's almost more like a feeling of how it looks. We open the chest, left side forward. Exhale, everything in, so we extend the left hip flexor. We flow into our low lunge. We reach the hands on the mat, right leg back into downward look. Through Vinyasa, we flow with your rhythm into plank. Exhale to bend elbows in. Inhale to open the heart into downward dog. Exhale. Beautiful. From here, we're going to bring right leg up, point the right toes. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Three leg dog, power through the hands, long arms. Right knee to the left arm. Three leg dog, inhale. Right knee to the nose. We go once more, three leg dog. Step right foot to the front of the mat. We look forward, long neck. We shift the weight to the fingertips, to the right foot, left thigh, away from the right. Exhale. We bend both knees to squeeze the root of the thighs. We go twice more. Inhale, left. Exhale, bend. We go once more. Inhale. Exhale, bend. We step feet to the front of the mat. And we roll the spine all the way up, bed to the by bed to the rise to standing from here, sweep the arms up. Exhale, we bring the hands through the chest, send the feet together to the front of the mat. And again, keeping the core engaged, tailbone forward. We're going to rise the right heel off the mat. And don't worry about the height, just see if we can keep lengthening through the back of the legs. From here, we're going to rotate right hip out, so toes open to the side. And we bring right hip in. We go twice more, right hip open, keep reaching legs. And in, we go one last time, open the right hip. And in, we bring feet together, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward, forward. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Hands down, step or fly through the vinyasa of your choice. Upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing. We're going to send the left leg up, point the left toes. Exhale, left knee to left elbow or left toes to left wrist touch. Three leg dog, inhale. Left knee to right elbow or left toes touch the right wrist in whichever way it feels right. We go one, three, leg up. Exhale, left knee to the nose. And one last three, leg up. We're gonna send the left knee 
towards the right side of the mat. We step left foot step. From here, we're going to peel the right arm to the ceiling into our falling step. If you see your body, you can send that left foot even more towards the front of the mat. So we're going to take two more breaths. And we send right hand down. We're going to step left foot between the hands, flowing into our easy twist. The hips remain where they are. We peel the left arm to the sky. And from here, we take the game down and slide left foot back into side plank. And we can rest the right knee on the floor, feet together. Today, we can bend the left knee towards side plank, three pose. We're going to take two more breaths, feeling the right side of the body lengthening nice. And we flow into our plank. Feel free to keep the tree for our chaturang. Up, or dog, both legs back. Exhale, down, we're facing down. We're gonna paddle through the legs. And we bend the knees, look forward, and step or fly to the front of the mat. We roll the spine all the way up, softening the shoulders, the neck. Sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands on the chest. We bring the feet together. We grow slightly taller, feel the space. We're going to rise again, the left heel forward. And again, it's not about the height, it's about keep lengthening through the back of the legs. On the exhale, we rotate the left heel back. And we go twice more. Inhale, center. We rotate the leg to the side. Nice. Inhale, set, and we rotate using the body. We're going to come back to the center, bring the feet together, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward, forward. Flat back, inhale. Hands down, step or fly through the vinyasa of your choice. Up or or cover. Exhale, downward facing down. We bring right leg up, point the right toes, and just like drawing with your body, knee to the elbow or toes to the right leg. Three leg dog in. Knee to left elbow or toes to left wrist. Three leg dog in. Right knee to the nose. We go once more, three leg dog. And we step right foot between the hands into our easy twist. We're going to peel the right arm to the sky. An option to stay, of course, option to slide right foot back. Option to rest the left knee on the floor or to go into our three points. Beautiful. We're going to bring right hand down towards the mat. And this time we're going to bring right knee to the left side. And step right foot to the left side of the mat. Into our fallen side. Option to stay there. Option again to slide a right foot towards the front of the mat for a more opening on the legs. We take one more breath. And we send left hand up, right leg back into Chaturanga, optional. Up or dog or cobra. We meet into our downward facing dog. And we're going to paddle through the legs. Bend the knees, look forward. And step or flight to the front of the mat. We release the head and roll the spine all the way up. We sweep the arms up, inhale. We meet once more into our forward fall. And this time we're going to grab the big toes with the first two fingers for our palangustasana. And we can bend the knees so we keep that connection between the chest and the thighs. So bending as much as we need to. We're going to shift the weight to the toes so we can extend more the back of the legs. We keep checking to release the head. We're going to take three deep breaths. Feel free to close the eyes. Nice, 
and we release the toes, roll the spine all the way up, pressing through the legs with that full feeling of presence. We're going to sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands on the heart. We go slightly taller. We're going to rise the right foot forward. And we're going to rotate the right hip out. And this time we're going to start drumming with your right heel towards the side. And we can't, when we can't reach anymore, we're going to square the hips, send right foot back in toward warrior three. So option to stay here. As we rise the right leg, the torso might follow. We take one more breath. And we step right foot back into warrior two. We're gonna keep that left hip open. And if it's in your body, I know it is. We're gonna bring the left thigh parallel to the mat. We take our reverse warrior inhale. Exhale, side angle pose. Elbow to the thigh, right arm next to right ear. We go twice more. Again, with this quality of presence, as if we're moving the water around us. Exhale, side angle pose. We can go deeper. Maybe extend left arm on the inside of the knee. We go one last time. Inhale. Exhale, we meet in our side angle pose. We take two more breaths. And we're going to flow in toward goddess pose. So we extend both legs. We have to bring the feet slightly closer together, rotating the knees, the toes, and hips out. Bend the knees, let the tailbone drop in between the feet, arms next to the ears. From here, we're going to lift the left heel up and we send it down nice. We use the right foot heel up and down. We're going to go once more this way. We keep reaching through the fingertips up and down. We go right foot up. And down. And this time we're going to try to lift both heels as we engage the glutes. Exhale down. We go once more full body alive. Exhale down. Lengthen the legs. Bring the feet to parallel into our prasadipa. We forward fall. And we can rest the hands on the mat. We can grab the big toes, maybe the back of the heels. And taking advantage of this deep hamstring stretch, we're going to take two deep breaths. Feel free to micro bend the knees if you need to. To your body, we take one more breath. From here, we're going to send the torso parallel to the mat. We're going to bend the right knee in toward ninja pose. An option to stay here, option to lengthen the arm sideways, keep reaching through the fingertips. And today we're going to rotate that left hip out, send the toes towards the sky. And we exhale, come back same way as we came, feet to parallel, we transfer to the left knee, rotate the right hip out. We're going to go once more. Feel free to stay nice and even lower. Maybe we need to go higher. Just listening to the body, but perfect. Let us see. We go into the opposite side. Rotate right here out. So we're going to flow into our low lunge towards the front of the mat. Square the hips. And we're going to step feet, hips, knees, then apart into our open chair pose. From here, we're going to rotate the knees and toes out and lower the hips into our malasana again. We're going to take two deep breaths and we have the option to walk the hands forward, release the gaze and maybe even swing the upper body from side to side. And we meet in our forward fold. So we bring the feet to parallel. We roll the spine all the way up. Vertebra by vertebra. Rise to standing. We're going to sweep the arms up. 
exhale, we melt all the way down in our forward fold. And again, we can grab either the big toes, bending the knees, chest to the thighs, we can bring the whole hand underneath the feet for our second variation. Just slightly more intense. We shift the weight to the toes, so they're gonna massage our wrists. And we can release the head if there's space, we lengthen the back of the necks. We're gonna take three deep breaths. Nice, long neck. And on your own time, we're gonna really send the weight slightly to the heels, release the hands and roll the spine all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. Rise to a standing, we sweep the arms to the sky and hands to the high, we bring feet together. We're going to send the left heel forward, keep reaching, and we open the toes towards the side. From here, start painting with your legs sideways. When we can't open anymore, then we square the hips to make the transition for our warrior three, either stay here. If you lift the leg more, we lean the body forward. We take one more deep breath. Nice, beautiful balance. We're gonna step left foot back into our warrior two. From here, we take one moment to adjust, maybe a wider step for exploring. We take our reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, side angle pose, full body presence. We're gonna go twice more. Inhale, moving the air around us. Exhale, side angle pose. We go once more. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. We're gonna take two deep breaths, chest open. And we go back into our goddess pose. So we're gonna bring the feet again slightly closer together. We rotate from the root of the leg, sweep the arms to the sky. We engage the glutes as we bend the knees. And from here, we're just gonna close the eyes and shift the weight slightly to the right foot as you feel the earth. And we shift the weight to the left. We're gonna go twice more with the eyes closed. So almost this feeling of floating, but with that full presence, we go once more pressing through the other edge of the feet and to the left. We're gonna stop on the center, send the hips lower if available, and we lengthen both legs, open the eyes wide, we bring the feet to parallel, we meet in our forward fold, press it. And this time, if you want to go deeper, we can walk the hands in between the feet and releasing the head. We take two more breaths. Breathing wherever the body needs it. We're going to send the torso parallel to the floor using our core. We're going to bend the left knee. Again, we can open the arms wide like wings and we keep the lifeness even on the fingertips. We can rotate right hip out, right toes to the sky. And we transfer to the opposite side. Right knee bend, left hip open, toes to the sky. And we go one more round, we transfer to the left knee. And we transfer to the right, left heel up. We flow into our low lunge to the front of the mat. So it's the right leg on front, one moment to the right. We shift the weight to the right foot, step feet, hips distant apart. We're going to rotate again the knees, toes out into our malasana. We take one deep breath, shoulders down, chest open. And we're going to sit back on the mat so we can use our hands or the body just to sit back. And we can move the legs from side to side. Beautiful. From here, we're going to bring the knees to the chest. 
hands underneath the shoulders. And as we did in the beginning of the practice, we're going to extend the legs forward, hover the heart off the ground. And we go twice more. Feel free to release the arms. Beautiful. Forward. We go one last time. We hover the feet, heart off the ground. And we melt on the mat. So we sweep the arms next to the ears. And we free the hands, bring the knees to the chest one by one. And we can bring the knees a bit wider and swing gently from side to side. So almost giving a conscious massage to your spine with the floor. We're going to take our happy baby straight away so we can just bring the soles of the feet up. We can grab the back of the legs, maybe the feet. If it's in your body, you might want to stretch the legs maybe one at a time. We're going to take three more breaths. Beautiful. We're going to release the legs. We're going to send the feet down onto the mat, knees bent. We bring the feet at least as wide as the mat. From here, we're going to knock the knees in together actively. So we can feel the length of the lower back. And this helps to release any tension there. If we don't feel that much this stretch, we can keep the knees together, bringing the feet even wider. We're going to take a couple of breaths here. It's opening to the sensations. And we release. So we're going to hug the right knee to the chest. Flex the right foot and we take our line pigeon. And we have the option to stay here. For more intensity, we can have the left thigh, maybe even the left shin. And we can close the eyes. We're going to take three deep breaths. And fulfill the intensity in the IT band. It's breathing into it. Great opportunity to let go. We take one more breath. And we release. We're going to send left foot down, hug the right knee to the chest. We go to our hamstring stretch. So we bring right heel up to the sky. You don't have to bring it lower or higher, whatever is comfortable to hide the leg. We're going to point the right toes and we flex the right foot. And we go twice more when we point the feet, lengthening the front leg. When we flex, lengthening the back. And we go once more. And we flex. From here, we let go of the legs. Of the leg, bring the feet hips distant apart. We take our bridge pose, tag the tailbone forward, engage the glutes. We're gonna take two more breaths, almost trying to bring the hips to the ribcage. We take one more breath and we send the hips down. We're gonna go straight into the opposite side for our stretch. We're gonna open the left hip, keep the left foot flex, an option to stay or to hug the right leg to the chest. We're going to take three deep breaths. And we release. Send the right foot on the floor. We square the left hip. We go into our hamstring stretch. This leg might go lower. Higher. Whatever it is today, we're going to point the left toes and we flex the left foot using the whole body. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. We go one last time. And flex. From here, we're going to send once more the feet down to the floor, arms next to the body. And again, when you cage the glutes, lift the hips up. And this time, keeping the heels on the mat, we're going to flex the feet. So we lift the 10 toes. We're going to take two more breaths, full body aliveness. We take one more breath. And we roll the spine all the way down. We're going to hug knees to the chest. 
an option to send the feet up to the sky, or we can float the feet overhead into our halasana. We can support the back of the spine, we can interlace the fingers, whatever feels better for the body right now, and bend the knees to the ears. We're gonna take a few breaths there into our inversion, and choose what feels right for you. And in your own time, you can roll the spine all the way down onto the mat. Using your core, we're going to bend the knees. And sending the feet hips distant apart, expand the arms wide, and we can move the legs from side to side. Just to help to release any extra tightness or tension, especially from the area of the lower back. And feel free to. Keep the eyes closed as we slowly start moving towards our final meditation, our final sevasana. Feel free to take any stretch, any movement that feels good to you before that. And whenever you're ready, no rush, we can extend the legs to the front of the mat. You can bring the arms next to the body, palms facing up. And coming back to your, to your natural breath, just taking a few moments together in this state of flow, of non-resistance. It's nothing to do. It's allowing the healing power of the breath to move through our body. It will just take a few moments. Feel free to stay in your savasana. You can bring the energetic blessings to the forehead for kind thoughts, to the mouth for kind words, and to the chest for kind hearts. And thank you so much for your energy, Elena Marta. Namaste.